This video shows how to use item banks in SchoolNet to manage and share test items, passages, and rubrics. To access item banks, go to Assessments, Item Banks. Everyone with access to assessments will have a personal bank. Additional item banks that have been shared with you or your institution will appear here too, as well as any item banks you have created. For example, you may have a bank of restricted items for district assessments, a district bank with items for classroom tests, a bank for a particular school, or a bank for math teachers. Users with the appropriate permissions can create and share a bank. Click the Create a New Bank button, enter the bank name and description, and then share the bank with individual people and, with appropriate permissions, users at institutions as well. To add people, use the Institution filter and then search by name or ID. Select the rights each person has to the bank and then click Add People. To add institutions, use the filter to find the appropriate institution. Your home institution will be selected by default and you can only drill down to lower level institutions, for example, from the district down to a school. Institutions have two defined user groups that can be assigned different rights, everyone and test item administrators. After sharing the bank with people and institutions, click Create Bank. After the bank is created, select or clear the Search This Bank When Building Tests checkbox on the Item Banks page. When selected, the item bank will be included when searching for items to add to a test. Rights to Banks work as follows. View Only lets you view items, passages, and rubrics in the bank and add them to draft tests. View and Edit also lets you edit items, passages, and rubrics. Manage also lets you update, share, and delete the bank. All item, rubric, and passage searches in SchoolNet use item banks. When searching, you will see everything contained in the banks you have access to. To search a particular bank, click Items, Passages, or Rubrics for the bank on the item banks page. You can also search all banks from here. To quickly search for items or passages, go to Assessments, Find, and then select Items or Passages and Linked Items. In the Search Results window, click the right arrow to expand the filters and enter or select the filters to search on. For items, you can select the checkbox to find and group items by passage. Passages will be listed in order of how many linked items each passage has. To perform an advanced search, click All Filters in the Filters area. From here, you can search by item type, item properties, and item statistics. You can also perform an advanced search for passages, but not for rubrics. In the search results, you can perform some actions for individual items and some actions for multiple items. For individual items, you can preview, view item details, edit, export, or delete an item depending on your rights to the bank. For multiple items, you can add them to tests, move them to another bank, or export them. Note that you can only copy an item from item detail. Passages and rubrics have similar but more limited actions. When creating or editing a test, you can create new items or add existing items from item banks. From the Test Detail or Edit Test page, click Add Item and then select From Item Bank. From here, you can search for and add any item to the test from the banks you have access to. The subject, grade level and standards filter for the test, if selected, will be automatically applied. 
Note the following. Items created on a test are not automatically added to a bank. You can add these items to a bank after a test is scheduled, in progress, or completed. Passages can be linked to items in another bank. 